Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to review some software from a company called, well basically Minitool, because they have Minitool Partition Wizard. This one is Minitool Shadow Maker. So backup software that I think you're going to be interested in. It makes backing up your files, your hard drives, cloning them even, everything you need to do to make sure your photos, precious files, all this kind of stuff is protected or kept so that something catastrophic happens to your computer, you have a place where all that stuff was kept protected. Okay, because you, you don't want to lose it. All right? People tell you backup, backup, backup all the time. Well, if you have this program, you'll be able to do it. There's different versions. I'm going to show you what those are. And you're going to probably want to start with a free version just to give it a try and see if you like it. And I would recommend going right to the pro version uh, once you determine whether you like it or not. So watch the video, see what you think, and let me know. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to use Google Chrome. Go in here, and the first thing I did is type minitool.com. All right, so that takes us to their main page, and they have many different products. Uh, right now, Minitool Movie Maker is here. This one I did previously was Minitool Partition Wizard. As you can see, there's an update. But the one I'm going to do today under utilities is backup software. You got different versions. You can even make a bootable version. Uh, and of course, we're going to use the free because that's the one you guys are going to start with. And then if you like it, you can upgrade to the pro version. Highly recommend if you like it. So we're going to start with the free version. And of course, some of the uh, things you want to do first, of course, this is telling you the version that's currently there. You're going to be a bit download it for free no problems and you can upgrade to pro right off the bat if that's what you wanted to do so some of the basic reasons you're going to want to do this is system backups file and folder backups disk and partition backups okay you can support automatic backups incremental and differential you can synchronize your files between computers in the same network clone basic and dynamic disk you can offer flexible dissimilar hardware recovery and this is more for um, more experienced people. Uh, it'll help you create a WinPE based bootable CD or DVD, USB hard disk or flash drive. Okay, so before we go ahead and do that, well, actually, let's just go right ahead first and download it. So click on the free download. It's going to show up on here. The reason it's saying one is because I already did this and realized I need to do it again. So I'm um, starting over. And it's going to say Mini Tool Shadow Maker 3.6. Of course, you have this check saying I've read the EULA and privacy and all that. You can do a custom installation. Okay, make sure these are you. Now you don't have to agree to this. Agree to participate in the customer experience improvement program. In fact, I'm not going to. Um, and it's going to install to the C C program files. That's where it's going to install to on your C drive. Do you want to put it somewhere else? Click in here and choose where you want to put it. All right. So for now, I'm just going to leave it at the default location and click install now. Now, of course, it's going to go through all the different things, the easy, efficient, secure backup solution, instant on-demand restore. It's going to give you all that kind of stuff. So these are just important features to know. And it shows, of course, it's going to start off with backup your computer now. So you can say start now. It's going to load it up and it's going to show you your options. So you can set up a backup right off the bat, but we're going to use some of the features first. So one of the other things to remember is that it comes with six different editions. You got the free version, which is the one we're using right now, the pro, which is the one I showed you, which is a monthly subscription. And you can have a pro annual subscription, so you can pay it monthly or pay it just once a year. And the pro ultimate, you have business standard and business deluxe. So Depending on what your needs are, those are going to be there for you. All right? So we're using the free version, and of course, it's going to let us do a whole bunch of stuff, which I'm going to show you here under all the different tabs on the top. Okay, so let's start with backup. So we click on this tab. It's asking for your source and destination you want it to go to. But you don't necessarily have to choose it that way. I'm going to show you some other methods of doing this. So let's go with, well, for, let's pick our source. Disk and partitions. So you're going to be able to pick 
whatever one you want. You want the C drive, you can pick just the C drive. When you want the C drive, you can pick all your different other drives. So you can pick the one you want and it will do it. But let's just say, let's just say I want to leave it on the C drive. So my C drive is 446.14 gigabytes. Okay. So on my MP500 force and I click OK. So that's, I'm saying this is where I want to copy from. And now I'm going to say where I want it to go to. All right. So I have different multiple drives that I can pick. And if you have other things set up, you can have different locations, anything through here. Uh, you can have on your M.2 drive, if that's where you want to back it up to. I would recommend maybe picking something uh, bigger or like if you have a NAS drive or anything like that, like your two terabyte SSHD, which I have in this computer and click OK. And you can click back up now or back up later. And then you can schedule that over here. Say so, so once you pick it, you can go daily, weekly, monthly, or on event. So you can you can turn this on, and now it's going to let you choose it. So what time do you want to start? Do you want to do it every hour? You want to do it weekly? What day of the week? Monthly? All right, or event? You can pick what you want throughout here. All right. Now I'm not going to do that at the moment, but I just wanted to show it to you. What options do you have? All right. Now, this gets into a whole bunch of other stuff. So you can do sector backup or sector by sector. So getting down to really forensic uh, backups. Okay, you can have file size. So you can choose your file size. You can have a fixed file size, of course. Your compression, how much you want the, it being compressed to. All right, the minimum, medium is recommended. But you can go with the other ones. You can put a comment to remind yourself what this backup was for. You can send an email notification to yourself the backup was done, I guess, if that's what you want to do. And you can exclude Windows page files, hibernation files, things that you don't necessarily need to backup. You can go shut down. So when your backup's done, you can say shut the computer down. You can assign a password and you can verify after it's been created. Okay, these are all checks and balances that you can choose. Okay, you can use synchronization. Same deal. You can pick your files and folders and where you want it to go to for your backup. And then if you want to restore, you can click add backup, pick where your backup is at and choose from there. And of course you have manage, shut down the computer when all running backup tasks are finished. So again, that's just when you've already completed everything you've got and you want this to be done automatically without you having to be there. So you can say, yeah, when I'm done, just shut the computer off. I'm going out to lunch or whatever I want to do. And you can have logs here. It's going to tell you everything you've done for as long as you set it up. So you can say the last 24 hours, last week, last three months, or you can set your own period of time that you want to see when those backups are done. You have tools. This is where it gets kind of cool. You have Media Builder. So I'm going to click on that. This is where, like I say, this is for the more advanced folks. WinPE based media with mini tool plugin. All right. So when you do this, this is gets into uh, something I'm not going to touch on myself right now um, because it gets into something a little bit more than maybe you might want to know. You can add a boot menu. Mount. Okay, so mount is mounting a drive. So I don't know if you know this. You could have a C drive, add another two terabyte storage, and you could mount it to the C drive, have them share it so that when C drive is full, it mounts on, it goes onto the other drive. So it gives you more storage. All right. You can clone a disk, which I didn't even know this part was in here. Now, let's find out. Clone disk. All right. Well, let's let's start here. So let's say C drive. Okay, so it's already picking it from here. You can pick whatever one you want. Oh, we'll pick that for now. And okay. Uh, don't want, I don't actually want to do this. So yeah, finish. 
and the destination so your target where you want to go to you can say I don't know pick whatever drive you want okay that one and finish and if you click OK whatever's on here is gonna copy you there make sure there's nothing on your target disk when you're doing this because you you could uh, wipe it well you will wipe it if it's a clone okay it's different when it's backing up but the same thing when you're backing up make sure there's space on the drive you want to back up to and specify its location and um, don't overwrite anything just be careful of what you're doing all right and of course if there's something you don't understand like uh, you can always ask them you can send feedback on the product you can have a command line interface so uh, well let's just click it shows you so in here this feature is included in mini tool shadow maker pro all right so this will show you what you get and what you don't get all right so if you want to see what you get with pro you can click on here and go ahead and find out so just be aware of that you can have a remote so you can remote into a computer and have it backed up that way. And PXE, I don't even know what PXE is. So I'm going to click it. Again, it's in the Pro version. All right, so just be aware. Not all of these features are necessarily going to be here. And of course, we're going to go back home. Set up a backup. All right, simple as that. Again, pick your source, where you're going to copy it to. And that's it. Now, I don't know what scheme is. Let's have a look here. Okay, so you can have full. So I'm just going to turn this on. So you can pick full, which obviously it says that appears to be in the pro version. Incremental and differential. Okay, so right now it looks like incremental is the only one it lets you do. So obviously I think you're probably going to want to go to the pro version. And you know what? If this is something you're going to be doing... Um, often you're going to want the pro version anyway okay that's just my two cents on it so that is up to you as to whether you think that's something you want to do so the other thing is uh, operation operating system support of course it'll run on windows 10 windows 8.18 windows 7 32 and 64 bits i don't know if it runs on linux so just be aware of that and there's different uh, amount of licenses you can have depending on what version you get, all right? So if you get the uh, pro version, you can get it for one license for one PC, or you can get the pro ultimate for lifetime for three PCs. And like I say, it varies depending on what version you want to pick and what you want to do with it. So I'm just trying to make sure I mention all of its details things you want to be aware of. Of course, you have the Shadow Maker Business Deluxe. Okay, so that's just another version. Now, this is more for um, 10 PCs or slash servers. Okay, so you can have one license that'll give you up to 10 computers you can run on. It'll do Windows Server 2008 up to 2019, 32, 64-bit. And uh, yeah, that pretty much covers it, I think. I don't think I've missed anything. And so I want to go over the differences a little bit on your different license types. So with your free version, you get, it's a freeware version. It does file, system, disk, partition, backup, and restore. You only get the incremental, like I just showed you. You can do daily, weekly, and monthly. Pretty much that's it. There is no command line backup, no universal restore, network booting, business usage, or free upgrade service. All right, and it's, of course it's free to download. So then you can work your way up from that to one license, one PC, one license for two PCs, three PCs, servers, and so forth. And of course, prices all vary. And the pro monthly subscription is only six dollars a month, and that's going to get you pretty much everything. All right, if you want to go for the pro annual subscription version, you can get a license for two PCs for thirty-six dollars a year. Again, it's, it works out pretty well. Actually, when you really think about it, you're probably saving money that way. All right? So these are just things I want to point out and show you that this is a program that I think you might be interested in. <laughs> really, it's quite good. So that's it. All right, everybody. So that's the video. Hope you like it. Uh, basically, it's 
telling you the full incremental, all the different backup styles, the different ways that you can do them um, so that you can protect all your documents, all your photos, or anything that's important to you, okay? And you can use a NAS and protect it off-site. You can use a uh, external hard drive, whatever you want to do, or you can use it internally and back it up to a second hard drive or NVMe drive, whatever you want. You'll, you've seen that in the video, so, you know, it's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, I think by having gone through this, I would probably start off uh, going right to the Pro. I wouldn't even hesitate, as I think the Pro version has got all the features I would want to back everything up. I would use probably an external hard drive. Probably, I have a four terabyte. I also have bigger. So I would probably start with something as large as you can afford to keep. Um, they've got even up to 12 terabyte external drives now. And save them to something like that. Keep that. And what I like to do is after I've saved, backed everything up, unless I'm doing it on a schedule, um, disconnect it. Because if somebody gets in and they got ransomware or something like that, if they go in and they see that you've got a drive connected, they might go after that first knowing that's your backup. So protect that, unplug it. When you're ready to go, plug it in, back up all your stuff, unplug it again. That's my preference. How you choose to do it is totally up to you. Anyhow, if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, what you want to see different. Uh, maybe I can go to the company and say, hey, this is what people are looking for, and maybe they'll make a change. You never know. Give me a like if you like it. Uh, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications for videos as they come up in the future. Uh, there's a join uh, on the channel to support the channel. Uh, super thanks if you just liked the video or any other video on the channel for that matter. Um, and leave me a comment. Say hi. Say you like the product, you hate the product. Let me know. And I'll get back to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.